know it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute. I haven't updated you guys since since my fourth day, I believe. But here we are. I did it. <laughs> I actually completed 100 days on a juice cleanse. I know initially I set out to do 60 days, but I actually went to 100. I got to that 90 days and I was like, ah, let me just do 10 more. 10 more to get that 100, just to say that I got 100. And here we are. It's been probably about a month and a half to two months since I completed it. I went from July 1st to October 10th, I believe. A three month and a couple of days cleanse. But I wanted to give you guys an update and to speak about the changes that occurred, symptoms that I had, what to expect if you do decide to embark on this journey, whether you wanna do a 30 day, 60 day, seven day, or 100 days as well, or even more, right? But I have some notes down here, so if I keep looking down, it's probably because I'm looking at the notes just so I could keep track of like everything that I wanna talk about in this video. I wanted to first thank you to the people that first subscribed to the channel or showed support on my Instagram who encouraged me. If you just took the time to like something of mine, all that encouraged me, so I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. So let's start with why I started the cleanse. I'm gonna try and see if I can keep this video as short as possible, not too long, just so you guys won't get bored or you guys can get the information that you need or what you came here for. So the reason why I started this cleanse was because I started feeling sick. I remember sometimes driving and feeling sleepy behind the wheel. I can keep my eyes open. I'll just be tired. And it was weird because I was getting enough sleep, street signs, and certain things started getting blurry. My vision started getting blurry while I was driving. Couldn't see things that I used to be able to see. I was getting sleepy behind the wheel. Street signs were getting blurry. I had dark elbows and dark knuckles. I don't know if you can kind of see now. Now they're a bit clear. It's not as dark. I had symptoms. They were probably pre-diabetic symptoms, a sign that I was getting close to having diabetes or i probably had diabetes both my parents have it my mom had diabetes my dad had diabetes so probably like a hundred percent chance that i was likely to develop diabetes as well if i didn't take good care of myself and i wasn't taking good care of myself right i was just eating whatever i wanted pizzas dairy so i love food by the way that's probably what got me to where i was eating different types of food and not taking good care of myself not working out just sitting, working behind a desk, working from home, I still work from home. I didn't necessarily have to move if I didn't need to. So I was already predispositioned to have diabetes, right? Because my parents both have it. Then my lifestyle didn't match up, so it all added up together. So I figured I was probably, I either had diabetes or I was pre-diabetic. I didn't necessarily want to go to the doctor to ask or to check because I knew that they were, that's probably what it was, that they were going to tell me to lose weight or to get my act together, right? So I wanted to go ahead and see what I could do on my own before I actually went to the doctors. Also too, a long-term relationship had just come to an end as well. Not being able to see, being tired all the time, not being able to move, aches and pains. My knees were starting to like hurt. I was starting to have problems breathing as well. Well, my confidence was also starting to wear thin. I almost didn't want to go out anymore because I didn't feel good about myself. Mixing all that with my relationship, my long-term relationship coming to an end, it was like something had to give. I had to figure out either I was just gonna succumb to everything. Lord knows where I would be if I decided not to take this route. If I decided to go ahead and let it overwhelm me and maybe go the route of eating more or choosing to add drinking to that. Now I'm just imagining if I added drinking to that right because I felt a certain type of way about myself and everything was going downhill if I added drinking to what was going on I don't know I don't know if I would be here like I don't know what would have happened to me so I, I am glad that God saw it fit or God introduced me to juicing I'm very glad that this was placed into my life and I was able to do it because here I am now my mindset is much clearer I feel good about myself I have more confidence I actually feel good my knees don't hurt anymore the dark knuckles went away I actually want to be outside I'm starting to do things that I didn't do living the way that I was I didn't want to do anything I was okay with staying home I didn't want to go out I still prefer to be by myself but that's just how I am right like I'm not I'm not much of a social person but this juice cleanse has made me want to explore more has made me want to go out has made me want to like walk out bare feet I didn't used to do that it's made me want to go out in the sun like I need to see the sun every day now 
which is very weird. Do you think it actually changes you? I just kind of wanted better for myself. I wanted to fight for everything that I felt as if I was owed. Another thing that triggered it was I saw this documentary on YouTube called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. I think I mentioned that in my first vlog, if you go back and watch that. Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead was a documentary by Joe Cross. He was basically sick and he decided to go on a 60-day juice cleanse. I saw how he changed. He spoke about how he felt. He just looked like a completely different person and I wanted that too. So around 2016 and 2018, I had lost around like 60 or 70 pounds on keto. Then 2020, during the C word, during the pandemic, people were talking about, oh, being healthy was the best option. Your best chance to beat what was going on was to be healthy. So I took that chance and I actually lost around like 60 to 70 pounds again. And again, I let myself go and I actually gained more weight than I had started with as well. So both times I wasn't able to keep the weight loss. I gained it all back. So this is like my third time doing this. The second time during 2020, I told myself that I wasn't gonna let myself go again. I told myself that this was it. This was final. Place tricks in your mind. It makes you kind of doubt yourself a bit, right? Cause you've done it two times before and both times, it wasn't as if I lost like five pounds or 10 pounds or even 15. I lost significant amount of weight each time. I wasn't able to keep it off. It all came back. So this is my third time doing this and my third journey. Cause I know this yo-yoing of losing weight, gaining back, losing weight, that amount of weight at that is not good for me. Hoping that this is the last time that I do this. You guys are gonna see throughout the years if I'm able to keep this off. I want you guys to come along with me. I had never juiced before. I had done vegetarian before. I had done a dirty vegan lifestyle before. That was what I did in 2020. So I wanted to do something that was different, that felt as if it was something that I hadn't done before and something that looked as if it would drastically change me for the better. That's why I decided to go ahead and do the juice cleanse. After day 30, I started feeling better, so I just kept going. 60 days, I felt as if I could do this forever. 60 days, I felt as if I could just keep going forever. I could actually juice my entire life. Day 90, I was like, uh, uh I'm kinda a little over this. I kinda wanna actually chew something. So I decided to just do 10 more days just to say I did 100 and then call it quits. So you guys can actually go watch my first couple of days. I actually forgot a little bit what I was going through those first couple of days, so I'm glad that I actually filmed that, so you guys can go check it out. Somewhere in the middle of my cleanse, I decided to do a water fast. I think it might have been around like second or third week. This is the reason why I decided to do a water fast. I did it for 10 days. It was because I started feeling bored of the juice. My mind started playing tricks on me. My mind was telling me, Oh, why are you doing this? Stick to a regular vegan diet. Just eat clean, just eat a salad. This is not the way. So what I decided to do to try to combat that was, <laughs> you don't have to do this, but this is what helped me. I decided to teach myself that things could be worse. What's worse than like, let's say a juice cleanse, a water fast, right? And then what's probably worse than a water fast? Uh, probably like a dry fast, but I didn't want to do that. That just sounds like a little, too extreme. I wanted my body or my mind to appreciate the fact that I was able to even juice because I could not have these nice tasting, sweet tasting fruits. I could just be drinking pure water. <laughs> so that's what I did. After the 10 day water fast, I was like, I was so happy and so glad to jump back on the juice. I was like, okay, this is easy. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it wasn't easy, but I was definitely glad to jump back on the juice though. Day 70, I started feeling like a pain, a sharp pain here and it wouldn't go away. I did a little bit of research, I couldn't find it because I didn't know what it was. It was weird, it was this weird pain that just would not go away. An aching pain that would come and go, but it's like when it came, it would hurt so bad. I started thinking that maybe it was like my gallbladder because I had so much like weight on me and I started losing weight. For some reason, I think it affected my gallbladder. So I looked it up on YouTube and I think I landed on a video where someone did a gallbladder flush. They recommended this book called The Amazing Liver and Gallbladder Flush and it's by Andreas Moritz. So I ended up doing a gallbladder flush. So the whole flush took about six or seven days and you had to drink some like apple juice and do some other things with it. If you ever feel like a sharp pain here or any type of thing like that, it could be maybe that you might actually have to flush your gallbladder or your liver. But I'm not a doctor, so make sure to do your own research and make sure to pick up the book because it gives you detailed instructions on exactly what you need to do. But that was the only thing that I felt that was like the symptom during my cleanse was that, that sharp pain that happened here. Overall benefits that I got from this cleanse was I feel great right now. Also to the discipline 
that it took to be able to get this done, I feel as if I can apply to other parts of my life and I have started to apply to other parts of my life, which is why I'm back. <laughs> I'm back here on YouTube, why? Why, because, um, because I wanna try to be more disciplined with this as well. I don't think I would if I didn't go through something like this. My confidence has gone up more. Not that I didn't have confidence before, I did, but my confidence went down the bigger I got before I looked a certain way so I knew that I could achieve the type of body that I needed to achieve because I had the type of body that I wanted before then I got big there's a difference if you've been big your whole life and that's just you so me coming back to or getting close to where I used to be my confidence you know started going up as well I love the fact that I can fit into clothes now I'm a big fashion person I actually have a brand coming a rebranding of my brand coming soon so stay tuned for that you need to give your body a certain amount of time when you're refeeding yourself right you can't just jump into like going from 100 day juice cleanse to like eating whatever you want you need to at least do half of the time of your cleanse don't know if that makes any sense but if i did 100 days juice cleanse that means that i would need at least 50 days of refeeding myself or trying to reintroduce food to my system i need time for that so that time period is usually half of how long you juice for if you juice for 20 days you might want to take 10 days to like get your body reintroduced to food again so start out with fruits and then work your way up as far as tips and tricks to having a good juice cleanse if let's just say that you want to save some money stick to the water-based fruits so the fruits that have more water in them so your watermelon your melons probably save you a lot of money just because you get more bang for your but you get more juice out of them for the same amount of money that you would spend on other fruits get a good juicer i had a different juicer i had oster i think it was an oster juicer it was like a horizontal juicer that was okay but i started getting tired it was like difficult putting items in it was taking a much longer time than the current juicer that i have so i decided to invest in a nama j2 juicer which was expensive it was expensive i'm not gonna lie it was expensive but that's been an incredible juicer because the mouth of it was bigger so i could stuff more fruit Roots and things in and also after you stuffed it in you could just kind of like set it and like walk away or go do some other stuff whereas the other one the other juicer I had I had to stand over it and like make sure that every single time that I put something in it went down try to do a variety of different fruits and veggies I actually during my juice fast I actually try to do a variety I did great juices I did carrot juices apples spinach green juices pineapple I did a variety of different types of juices I also did what I called stew juices. So basically what those were, were I'll put some like tomatoes, peppers, jalapenos, carrots, things that you would use to kind of make stews, blend those together so that I'll have a different taste. When you're juicing for an extended period of time, you sometimes want something different. You don't need to, but it's probably good and it's probably beneficial. You're giving your body different types of nutrients. It's not just like one type of juice or one type of nutrients, right? You're giving your, your body other things that it needs. Don't stick to just one type of juice. So what's next, right? When I decided to break the fast, I decided to, I went a couple days with some fruits. I decided to go raw after my juice fast. And I wanted to do raw until the end of December. We're actually nearing the end of December and I'm still doing it. I'm like, I've been raw this whole time. So now I'm actually considering doing raw for an entire year just to give my body a really good, thorough cleaning. It seems kind of daunting for an entire year. That's a long time. So I don't know if I'm prepared for that, but that's where I think I want to go. I think I want to try and see if I can do raw for an entire year. Raw or high raw. The reason why I'm saying high raw is because I don't want to accidentally like eat some cooked food sometime. Let's just say I go to a restaurant and they accidentally put something that's cooked in there and I accidentally eat it. I don't want someone to video me or take a picture of me and then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, you said that you were going to be raw and now you've eaten something that was cut and have it be like this major thing i'm gonna say raw to high raw for a year that's my goal since i've been doing it mid-october so that would mean that i'll be going to october October, mid-October 2023, or maybe I might just do it till December 2023. It's always gonna be vegan, right? But let's just say that I go to a certain place or a certain country. You know, that country is known for a particular type of dish. I might wanna like enjoy some of that dish from that country, right? So that's why I'm throwing in the high raw. Most of my day was to be like at least 90% raw, and then maybe that 10% will probably be that cooked food from that country. I'm sure some of you guys watching this are already raw, so if you can give me any tips or tricks down below in the comment section, and I'd really appreciate that. Other than that, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for 
watching this video. If you watched the entire video, thank you so much for doing that. And I hope that you got something from this. I told you guys that I love fashion. So maybe you guys might see pieces from my rebranding of my clothing line, Tony Wu, on this channel as well. I'll just be updating you guys on my life. Just introducing you guys to different things, different parts of my life. Whether that's figuring out how to cook raw foods because I'm new to this, so you guys will probably see a lot of cooking. If I go through certain things, you guys are probably gonna know, you guys, Oh, speaking of which, I'm actually going to be doing a three-day water fast and then a four-day mono fruit fast and then another four-day a different type of mono fruit. This is the reason why I started breaking out. And this is one of the reasons why this is a journey, right? This whole thing is a journey. You would think that me going raw and me doing all this stuff that I've been doing would give me like the clearest of skin. For some reason, I started breaking out and I think it was the nuts and seeds that I've been eating. I've probably been consuming way too many nuts and seeds. You might not be able to see it as well. It's actually gone down a lot but I was breaking out a lot right here and right there I actually love nuts and seeds so I was probably just popping them right and I think maybe my body was telling me that you're doing too much <laughs> it actually looks as if it's going away now but I'm still gonna try and see if I can do the three-day water fast I haven't done a mono fruit fast before so after the three-day water fast I'm gonna do four days of watermelon only and four days grapes only and then after that I'll go back into my raw food so hopefully you guys follow along for that as well thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something and thank you so much for the support i'll see you guys next time so far so good i haven't stopped i haven't turned back around i'm doing this yay for first heights here's to plenty more